Viper motor. I think there's one over there. You can probably <laughs> Viper motor. Yeah. You want to go Viper, eh? V10. Yeah. Go a little bit lower than that, but not a whole lot. Yeah. 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 Tell me about your hood and how you even did it. Well, it's I got pretty neato. I got the idea from Phil. Yeah, him for about six Dude, months. Yeah. Um, then I constantly come from Europe. I wanted to go for the 300 swap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See you at Applebee's, bro. Every time I see the loo, it pisses me off. It's good news. Hey, Troy, hey. what's going on, bro? How much, you? So much. With your louvers. Where's your rivets? I like your, your louvers, man. Yeah. Where's your rivets, man? Okay, they're there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a nice fit, eh? That is a nice fit. That's good. Yeah, it's awesome right on here. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what my louvers are for. Where'd you get those? Special order prime. Oh yeah. <laughs> and where'd you get your louvers? Oh yeah. I like how. Yeah. Uh, you gotta try, right? Did oh, yeah. you get black ice little trees because just to match your car, or you could just because you like black ice? No, that's <laughs> yeah, right. White body room. Yeah. That's good. White tire boys. Is that a, that's a two inch drop, eh? Two, three. They're on four lowers. They go a little bit lower than that, but not a whole lot lower. Yeah. Well, they're on coils, why don't you just raise them? Or if they don't go higher than that. You can, but like you actually gotta do a little bit of work to do that, right? Oh, yeah. You know, they, yeah like know. raise the car, and then you fucking push it. With these like fucking rings on it. Uh, see these two rings up there? Yeah. You, you loosen those off, they act like uh, locking nuts on each other. Yeah. So once you lower it and you tighten them back up and you let the car back down, it will be the difference of whatever nice. the fuck you did there. But if if you lift it like a centimeter here, it's more like three centimeters once it's out here because yeah. it's just it's just fucking geometry shit. What's the offset on these rims, dog? Fucking, I don't know, fucking three? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I just bought them, bro. I just brought Stop them. asking me questions, Stop. dog. Apparently they came up to 300. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. They're, uh, they're paying the fucking ass. They're, what, 245, 235, 250? Yeah, man. 30 minutes.
me about your hood and how you even did it? Well, I got, the, neato. I got the idea from Phil. Yeah. I've seen him for about six months. Yeah. Um, then I constantly come from Europe. I wanted to go for the 300 swap. So I got Phil to make me up the hinges. Hair, right? Yes, Phil hair, of course. Like, I wish he was here. But yeah, uh, he hooked me up. He with should be here. He's up to me this way. No, no. Well, he's up. He's up front away. Yeah. But yeah. Whoa. So it's, it's, oh, you gotta. They're pins, right? Yeah, I got pins that go into them. That's crazy. Yeah, so I just lock it down. That. How long did it take you to do? Uh, I got Phil did the hinges. I got my buddy to help me weld up the nuts on it just to give it a little bit more uh, support on it. So you don't have to weld the nuts technically? Uh, no, you don't, but it's a lot, lot safer that way. That is freaking neato. So they lock, that's all that matters. Damn, you know what? These floating hoods on a Magnum ain't bad at all. To be honest, I'm a fan of them. Not only do they catch the eye at the show, but they're also functional. For comparison, let's take a quick look at another sweet Magnum with the same setup. From Europe, I wanted to go for the 300 swap. Yeah, in Europe, they're freaking popular. Everywhere. Um, Everywhere. You can even get a diesel version over there, which is great. Yeah. Um, so I done the flat bottom conversion, and then after that, it went to a round bottom conversion. Yeah. Um, and then it went to this. Yeah. Growler. Nice. I, I mean, it was a compliment, I'm telling you, it was a compliment. That is nice. Don't leave Dr. Hyde at it. Oh. Well, if you want, behind the fence there. Lots of trees behind the fence. I know we're going to be packed, right? Hey boss! Hi. How's it going? Good. Challenger exhaust, Super 10's crossplane. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Exhaust is this baby. Oh, okay. uh, it's a custom exhaust I did. I had a buddy of mine weld it for me, but it's, uh, yeah, no, started off as a um, like oh, right. a Challenger exhaust. It's a Challenger exhaust on this thing. Well, yeah, but then okay. I put two Super Tens and changed the uh, cross pipe. No way. So Super Tens plus cross pipe. Yeah. What year is this baby? Twelve. Twelve? 
Yeah. Okay. All custom halos. Whoa, you, you even painted the, the insides of there, eh? Yeah. Wow. I got a little bit of moisture shirt on that one on me. Yeah. Anything else you're going to do with this baby? Well, the other pulleys I still got to put on because I got the lightweight alternator pulley and lightweight underdrive pulley. Oh, really? Yeah. And then it's going to get tuned from there. Okay. I've done it yeah. Nice. Win 649 supercharger. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Bags of those, bro. Airlift. Airlift? Yeah. Yeah. System is in there. It's an airlift. Is an airlift? Yeah. It's an 09? How was this? Like putting I did that? that this winter. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I was the first one to get this kit out of Russia. Yeah. It's actually a sponsorship. Now those rims, did it come with that also? Or you put some like spacers on that? Uh, no, they're just on there. They're, really? 13 inches wide in the rear and 12 in the front. Oh. <laughs> I love the rims. The rims are amazing. Oh, Custom order from BC Forge. Just the dish, the dish on them, man. Yeah. They're clean. They're oh, three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Yeah. Kind of system is, is in there. It's an airlift. Is an airlift? Yeah. It's an 09? Oh, yeah. Nine left. How much work in. would you say you put into this, like, uh, money-wise? I don't even know. Like, I don't keep track. No, you, don't, you just keep building it's it? It's been over 10 years. I bought it in 2012. 2012? Yeah, yeah, okay. It was my daily for four years. Yeah. I started modding it, modding it. It sounds like quite the journey. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Can you tell me about the doors? Like, how, I've never seen those kind of doors before. Yeah, I did those two winters ago. Okay. So it's like full custom, right? Like Full custom. Yeah, it's not like Lambo you doors. Can, you can't order it. Right? No, no. It's like, okay. the, like the Lambo doors, you buy a kit, right? Yeah. You slap them on. Yeah, the doors. Yeah, the doors. So like I guess you hinge at one side and you, so like what do you do? You gotta take the, the the back comes like you gotta cut 
the whole back out on yeah. the inside, build a frame structure to hold the hinges. Yeah. And then you got to take the door apart, build a structure inside the door because the doors are so big, right? right. You got to hold all the weight. And then you got to like, we switched around all the mechanisms and everything. The handles still function, all the electronics still everything, function. Yeah. Yeah. Extended all the wiring, repainted it all, fabbed up new door jams and everything. For really? It. So, yeah. Wow, what's the future for this baby? Motor swap. Motor swap? Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? 426, do you think? I'm trying to find a Viper motor. <laughs> I think there's one over there. You probably <laughs> Viper motor, yeah. you wanna go Viper, eh? V10. Yeah. Okay. Just, just something that doesn't come stock in it, right? Yeah, it's yeah, either that fair. or I'm gonna twin turbo it. That's slick, dog. So, like, how did he even paint that? By hand, freehand, like, so, like, this guy's been doing it for, I think he said 58 years. Yeah. So he has this easel, right? Yeah. Like, it went in that brush and just. So it's on top of your paint? Yeah. Wow. It's all the way down. Really? Yeah, you started with the gray, fr gray first, and then you did the red stripe. Damn, bro. Yeah. So it's on top, okay, okay, I'll f with you, I'll f with you, I'll f with you, bro. Just got painted. Who, who, who'd you get it done by? This guy named Rolly. He yeah. He like classic pop pods, big trucks and stuff. He doesn't really advertise his work, it's all just word of mouth, but I can give he you He did, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't do this, I paid. Really? by 60 something. Damn, the whole way, eh? Whoa. Okay, okay, I'll f with you. Oh, with you, it's cool, it's cool, man. That's slick, man, that's slick Rick, man. That's slick, dog. That's slick. Yo, that's slick, man, that's slick. Damn, bro. Purple boys. Adam. Yeah. 
Three, six. Three, six, three, six. Three. That's like a thing. That's a thing, eh? That's a trend. Big boys. What? That is thermal wrapped. For sure. That's sick. I like it. Yeah, there's uh, there's um, gears on the on the sunroof. There's um, if you look on the dashboard and on the center console as well. There's by the shifter. There's really? Yeah. Fair enough. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, that the dashboard down there. Then there's. What's the name of the vehicle? Ah. Uh, Thanos? No. Is this Thanos? Does it have well, the same sticker? Is this Spyro? Is like on it's, okay. Oh, it could be Spyro. It could be Spyro. Gotcha. Nice. Really? That's not I was the idea for our Oh, were you? Of course, of course, of course. Nice. No, I guess not. It's an exhaust, man. Over here. It's oh, his yeah. car, no not exhaust. his. Oh, okay. No <laughs> Alright, but... Just straight pipes. Okay. Straight pipes? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. I like it. Thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Spiral. And we did uh, continue my build of my Dodge Magnum hearse. Uh, it was the early stages back then, so I've redone, did a whole front facelift. I got the new funeral lights and new grill. Headlights are changed over. It actually looks mint. Yeah. Did you do a paint correction? Because or you just keep it clean? I just keep it clean. <laughs> nice. I try to clean this like twice a week. <laughs> try to. Yeah, yeah. So uh, not much, not much in the interior for the front that I've done, but um, the wood floor has been installed in the back. Got more decorations and just uh, yeah. The main thing was the floor in the back. How long did it take the floor in the back? About a month. Different prototypes that I had to make up, different models. I tried to make it so that way I can still use my back seat so the centerpiece pops out and my rear seats still fold up to use. Right, right. And then I still have storage space underneath. So it's it looks nice, but it's also functional. Right. So you could uh, you could just wrap it up and then you're mobile, right? You get um, to go to another show. Yeah, yeah. Usually I just drive with it all like all set up and down because I don't I rarely use my back seats but I still wanted them available just just in case kind of thing. Yeah. No. How was the build for the back? Like the wood, like of, with uh, tell us about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of fitting, a lot of where it, it wasn't it wasn't cheap to do this. <laughs> right. So walk us through from the beginning. Uh, uh, Basically, I started looking online at different prototypes because a lot of people were doing just the uh, the trunk piece. Yeah. But I wanted the full deal, so I like I started out making templates out of cardboard, right, to make everything fit. Yeah. So I made my first piece was obviously getting the trunk piece done. Once that was done, I uh, did the top panel here. Yep. And that is actually bolted right to the back where the um, the child seat the hooks in the back of the seat for where the child seat mounts to mm -hmm. it's bolted to that okay oh so it's actually functional because that's the back seat yeah and there's that there's that yeah, line so this, right this panel here oh, oh this whole panel here pops out and then i can still pull my seat up to use it if i need to gotcha wow pretty nifty how long did it take you to do about about a month about a month yeah, yeah. trial and error too like you said yeah, right a lot, yeah a lot of prototypes just trying to get the panels to match up right yeah but once it was done, it was like, yeah, I, this is perfect. <laughs> right. I noticed you did the the top. Yes. Damn. Uh, Massa Customs did the vinyl wrap for the top. Yeah. That they is slick. Great, great job. It looks uh, pretty much brand new to me, honestly. I really this like it. It's a year old. I know, but it looks new. It looks yeah, great. I, I do what I can to keep keep good care of it. Like there are a few like stone chips in the front, but it happens. Yeah. Do I see a stick shifter in there? Uh, that is so awesome. This is a custom uh, shift knob that I've done. Wow, that's cool. So these lights you got there, you got that done uh, last Friday, right? Yep. Yeah. Another uh, another Magnum Mafia member ended up uh, 
ended up in doing the install for me. Right. Yeah, let me get that turned on. And who's that Magnum Mafia member? Uh, Dylan. Dylan. Yes, he's a local Barry member. So, uh, have I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be seeing him again pretty soon because I just ordered two more sets of these. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a, a set in the dashboard and then second set in the rear window. It actually looks pretty dope. <laughs> This is just the start. Oh, no, it's just this the start. This is just yeah. the start. I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do like what you have with your challenger, the halos. I yeah, want to yeah. do purple halos. The halos are a nice touch. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. I agree. Just wish getting a set of the halos wasn't so expensive. They are. <laughs> for me to get a set of halos in like the black housing for the Magnum. Yeah. I'm looking at 800 bucks just starting. Yeah, just it's starting. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Get in and there. then I'm going to try to do the fog lamps in purple strobes. Uh, I'm going to be modifying the tail lights. So I'm going to get the LEDs here replaced in purple. And then I'm going to do a purple LED strobe in the bottom. Nice. So it's eventually going to have lights all the way around. Even you, you even got the uh, the skulls right on the freaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you keep them on, do, you, do you keep them on? Do no, they stay on? No, I uh... keep them on they're not actually. I do plan on getting actual uh, skull air caps. It's just yeah. Quick touches for now. You got these guys. Where'd you get? The where'd you get? Uh, for now, these are just vinyls that I had cut by a friend of mine and applied. Um, I am. I do have an actual set of Lando bars off of a hearse that I am working on getting scanned and 3D printed smaller, so that way I can actually apply them to the car. Yeah, I remember you got the actual big ones yeah. before. Yeah, I see yeah. that. I remember I that. I wanted to apply those, but I put them up to the car, and they were like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would have worked. Just a little big. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. <laughs> it looks freaking fresh. I like it. Good job, buddy. I the Mopar fan will be doing an oil change on a sweet 2018 Dodge Charger GT 3.6 liter. Tools of the trade today are car ramps or a 3 ton floor jack, 10 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, 24 millimeter socket, a ratchet and an extension, and of course an old drain pan. Let's get the Mopar on ramps, get under there and remove the four 10 millimeter bolts holding the underbody panel. After that, let's remove the oil fill cap and throw the oil pan under there. Use a 13 millimeter socket, remove the drain plug and and drain the oil into the pan. Let's go up top and remove the oil filter cap. Let's remove the old filter and the old gasket. Install the new gasket on the oil filter cap. Click in the new filter into the cap and install it into the oil filter housing. Now using the 24 millimeter socket with extension, screw it back on. Installing the drain plug with the 13 millimeter socket. After that, we're putting back the underbody panel with the four 10 millimeter bolts. Let's fill this baby up with six quarts of the recommended 5W20 synthetic. Install the oil fill cap, clean up. Time for a beer, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so the install. Yes. Tell me about the, what the, what the heck's going on here? Well, the doors. what's going the on? The install was a pain in the ass. Yeah. But I had to take the fenders off. So when I take the fenders off, I have to tape up the door. Yeah. Um, so up top, off to the side, so it doesn't move anywhere in place. Yeah. So it's all solid. So then take the hinges off, bolt up the bracket, like put the bracket in line it all up yeah. and then bolt it from there yeah and then do, do then do all your adjusting oh shit but then the fender the lip on the inside of the fender you have to cut off right so i've cut about an inch and a half in about eight inches down how long did this whole take uh it actually the one side took me about three hours the other side took me a couple hours damn and a little bit of help so you got it lined up though i remember yeah. i saw a post yeah and then you had some you had some lineup issues right damn Look at that. Oh yeah, solid set. In the back too? No, not yet. Not yet, you're doing the same thing? Yes. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do the back. I'm hoping a gentleman gets back to me. Yeah. He's got a set on the chart. So, so I come actually to here, when it was really, really busy. Yeah. And they had their dollar dozen. But uh, come down, met up with them, and my one strut on my door failed. So my door dropped. Oh, okay. That was my trip to come down here, but I got a nice set of lights. But, yeah. Nice. What can you do? They look good. No, they do. They work nice. Oh, the Lamo doors, though. Who else has Lamo doors? Actually? Um, where is that? I don't even think he's here today.
Borla? Yeah. yeah. It sounds awesome. For a 3.5 too, eh? That's crazy. <laughs> what year is it? 02. It's an 02. Yeah. Last year they were made. Wow. 25 shipped to Canada. Okay, so when you go home, you go up, go the other It's got a few mods to it. A few mods? Yeah. Just yeah, a couple? It looks like it. It's awesome. <laughs> Just a couple? <laughs> I love it. We got a couple. It was based on 32 high balls, so I kind of brought it back to what it was. Right. Fair, yeah. Oh, well, it looks great. O2. Modern day classic. Oh, yeah. That's Even the intake's about. different than the. Oh, yeah. Right? They're shoehorned in there. <laughs> wow. in. Right. They do? Yeah? You guys put five seven. Mm -hmm. But the transaxle won't handle it. So no. Just... So what else what else you got on to the uh, uh, done on no, this? I have gears in it. Yeah. And uh really that's all I got is the gears, bore leg exhaust. Yeah. Chrome front end, chrome grill, uh the, the spoiler on the back, high boy kit, remove the fenders. Wow. Remove the bumpers all around. It looks amazing. Two mods. Just a few, just a few. Thank you. It's pretty different because when you used to go to the shows with them, yeah. the only thing you could order on them is color. Color? So you'd go there and everyone was the same but color. Right. So right. Not anymore. Fair enough. <laughs> Even the chrome. Oh, the suspension. Right? The suspension's beautiful. chrome. It's insane. That's really throwback. Even the spindle. Holy, look yeah. at the internals on that. I know, right? In the spindle and the caliper, like oh man, the whole thing. I like it. I love it. It's crazy when they first came out, and everyone was like, uh, right? But now, now it's a classic. Oh, for sure. I love the interior on it too. The gauges are just right in the middle. How wide are the tires? Two seventy-five. 295, 40. 295, boys. Phenomenal. Oh, I think it's just beautiful on the back end. I love these colors. Oh, it's great. That looks dope. <laughs> the paint. Man, especially if you look at it from the back and then see in the gauge cluster. Right. We got the sweet shot here on the Woo! That is nice though. It is designed. Oh yeah. For sure. Pretty good. Car's a lot different since you last seen it. Is it? It is just actually. A bit, it looks just pretty snippy from the winter time. <laughs> Guess carry on from uh, episode one we did. Uh, continue my build of my Dodge Magnum hearse. Uh, it was the early stages back then, so I've redone, did a whole front facelift. I got the new funeral lights and new grill. Headlights are changed over. It actually looks mint. Yeah. Did you do a paint correction? Cause, or you just keep it clean? I just keep it clean. <laughs> nice. I try to clean this like twice a week. <laughs> the wood floor has been installed in the back. Got more decorations and just, uh, yeah. The main thing was the floor in the back. How long did it take the floor in the back? About a month. Different prototypes that I had to make up, different models. I tried to make it so that way I can still use my back seat so the centerpiece pops out and my rear seat still fold up to use. Right, right. And then I still have storage space underneath. So it's it looks nice but it's also functional. Right. So you could uh, you could just wrap it up and then you're mobile, right? You um, get to go to another show. Yeah, yeah. 
Usually I just drive with it all like all set up and down because I don't I rarely use my back seats but I still wanted them available just just in case kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, How was the build for the back? Like the wood, like of, with uh, tell us about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of fitting, a lot of where it, it wasn't it wasn't cheap to do this. <laughs> right. So walk us through from the beginning. Uh, basically, I started looking online at different prototypes because a lot of people were doing just the uh, the trunk piece. Yeah. I wanted the full deal, so I like I started out making templates out of cardboard, right, to make everything fit. Yeah. So I made my first piece was obviously getting the trunk piece done. Once that was done, I uh, did the top panel here. Yep. And that is actually bolted right to the back where the um, the child seat. The hooks in the back of the seat for where the child seat mounts to mm -hmm. it's bolted to that okay oh so it's actually functional because that's the back seat yeah and there's that there's that yeah, line so this, right this panel here oh, wow. this whole panel here pops out and then i can still pull my seat up to use it if i need to gotcha wow pretty nifty how long did it take you to do about about a month about a month yeah, yeah. trial and error too like you said yeah, right a lot, yeah a lot of prototypes just trying to get the panels to match up right yeah but once it was done, it was like, yeah, I, this is perfect. <laughs> right. I noticed you did the the top. Yes. Damn. Uh, Massa Customs did the vinyl wrap for the top. Yeah. That they is slick. Great, great job. It looks uh, pretty much brand new, to be honest with you. I really this like is it. It's a year old. I know, but it looks new. It looks yeah, great. I, I do what I can to keep, keep good care of it. Like, there are a few, like, stone chips in the front, but... It happens. Yeah. Do I see a stick shifter in there? Uh, that is so awesome. This is a custom uh, shift knob that I've done. Wow. That's cool. So these lights you got there, you got that done uh, last Friday, right? Yep. Yeah. Another uh, another Magna Mafia member ended up uh, ended up in doing the install for me. Right. Yeah, let me get that turned on. And who's that Magna Mafia member? Uh, Dylan. Dylan. Yes, he's a local Barry member. So uh, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be seeing him again pretty soon because I just ordered two more sets of these. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a, a set in the dashboard and then second set in the rear window. That actually looks pretty dope. <laughs> this is just the start. Oh, no, it's just this the start. This is just yeah. the start. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do like what you have with your challenger, the halos. I yeah, wanna yeah. do purple halos. The halos are a nice touch. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, I agree. Just wish getting a set of the halos wasn't so expensive. They are. <laughs> for me to get a set of halos in like the black housing for the Magnum, Yeah. I'm looking at 800 bucks just starting. Yeah, just it's starting. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's getting and there. And then I'm gonna try to do the fog lamps in purple strobes. Uh, I'm going to be modifying the tail lights, so I'm going to get the LEDs here replaced in purple, and then I'm going to do a purple LED strobe in the bottom. Nice. So it's eventually going to have lights all the way around. 